I have been asked, how did your husband allow you to work after you got married? Allow you to work after mm -hmm. you got married? And uh, my daughter, nobody asks her. Absolutely. She lives her. My daughter-in-law, the male gaze is still there. The male uh, domination is still there. was it dealing with the judgment back then because today we look at your story and they only get inspired but you have gone through all of that single-handedly you know you live that moment and that moment passes and I had a lot of support uh, from my family from my husband uh, who always gave me space always supported me in everything I didn't have to explain myself um, so I had that kind of uh, uh, support so I've been very blessed in that, um, that I was uh, like uh, when uh, my mother wasn't allowed to go to a co-ed university, she had to do her MA privately. I have been asked, how did your husband allow you to work after you got married, allow you to work mm -hmm. after you got married? And uh, my daughter, nobody asks her, Absolutely. she lives her. Uh, my daughter-in-law. So things are changing. So uh, every, you know, we are going forward. So society is sometimes slow to change, but once change becomes the norm, then the changes also escalates, yeah. and which is happening now world over. Um, the male gaze is still there. The male uh, domination is still there. And as India lives in many centuries, so uh, different pockets of India believes in different so uh, kind of uh, process. But in this uh, wonderful city of Mumbai and Delhi and Kolkata and you know the bigger cities have a different perspectives. So all in all I think uh, we are in a better place. So I believe that like you said beautifully in an interview that geographically distance shouldn't matter when your emotional bonds are like that. You also have stayed away, you know, from the kids right now when they are living their own lives. Does it become difficult at, at one point emotionally? No, it sometimes causes an ache in your heart that you cannot do everything that you wish. But you have to kind of accept it that uh, uh, for uh, others, uh, they you know, once upon a time they couldn't do without their mothers, but now they have their partners, they have their own children, so their affection has shifted somewhat. And uh, mother is not going anywhere, but the mother is being taken for granted, perhaps. But that shouldn't, uh, it shouldn't bother you, because that is a natural process. Because I've done the same. Yeah. I, when I had got married, Tiger became the focus, then when I got children, then they became the focus. And my focus shifted from my parents. But I wasn't raised by my parents. I was raised by my grandparents. I lived in a joint family. So everybody had authority towards us. So we, we kind of tolerance and uh, sharing comes very easily to us because we never had anything that we called our own. It was a communal thing, you know. Yeah. So I can't say that's my doll, that doll can be everybody's. everybody's yeah. So we, we are very different who come, you know, lived with a lot of other people. Yeah. So they, my aunts are like mothers, you know. Yeah. So, so yeah, so now that uh, the families are different, you just have to accept it. And that ache will always be there, which I think comes from loving somebody. But you also live because I, my needs are also very complicated. I want to work, I want to be independent, I want to do lots of other things too. So 
So I want to do everything. I want to eat my cake and have it too. Absolutely. And I, I, I just strive for that and somewhere it works out. <laughs>